People are making good money by scaring other people over the third industrial revolution. Oh hi, I'm Sanjata. I'm the founder of a brand new organization called Warrior for Power. Our sole objective, our sole purpose is to bring about the total radical transformation of the lives of African people on planet Earth within this century, the 21st century. Now, if you are a brother, if you are a conscious African brother, then join Warrior for Power. Now, if you are a conscious brother, if you are an African conscious brother, fed up of living under white domination, and you want to do something about it, then join, join us. Go to patreon.com forward slash warrior for power. Okay, let's start with the first industrial revolution, number one. But before I go into that, let's just say a little, a little bit about the third industrial revolution. The reason why it's needed rapidly is to try and correct the negative impact on the environment caused by the first industrial revolution and the second industrial revolution. Those two industrial revolutions have brought humanity to a brink of collapse. So the third industrial revolution is trying to correct what went wrong in the first and the second industrial revolution. That's all. There's no more to it than that. There's nothing scary about the third industrial revolution. And here's the thing. Before I go into it, let me just say that people are trying to scare you in regards the World Economic Forum, which is just an organization of rich industrialists and businessmen largely, who come together to find out how they could game the system, how they can get ahead of the system in terms of thinking. And the third industrial revolution, which is around the corner, is something that they're trying to get their heads around. That's all. So if they meet at Davos every year, I think it's in January, it doesn't mean anything. But for some reason, these evangelical, crazy, right-wing nutters are trying to get you to think, to believe that they are part of, you know, some satanic situation. It's just rubbish. Okay, so the first industrial revolution kicked off in the 19th century in the UK, the United Kingdom. They came up with steam powered printing. And then they invented the telegraph. 
and then someone had a bright idea of using the this, this steam machine that was used to print books and newspapers and journals to use that same steam machine and put it on rails which then invented the train and what that did it boosted the economy of the UK and increased the economic life of the people this te these technologies were then spread out around the world but it was all powered by coal the second industrial revolution kicked off in the united states of america they launched the telephone then the radio and then tv which gave us cars and trucks and um, buses and then finally we got computers and all of it was powered by the new discovery of oil, petroleum. So, the first industrial revolution was powered by coal and the second industrial revolution was powered by oil. Both were fossil fuel economies. So both industrial revolutions, one and two, used fossil fuels. They burnt fossil fuels at a massive rate, releasing all types of gases into the atmosphere, like methane and carbon dioxide. These gases got trapped in the atmosphere and have started to heat up the planet. And we are now in danger of losing habitat for humanity. And once you lose habitat for humanity, and once you can no longer grow grain at scale, you will then see the demise of human beings. So, a call went out in the 80s, start of the 90s, for something must be done. Some see the third industrial revolution as vital for humanity's survival. People like Jeremy Rifkin has been pushing this for the last 30 years. Now, what does the third industrial revolution include? Well, it includes advances in robotics, artificial intelligence, autonomous vehicles, the internet of everything, renewable energy, new forms of um, meat that's been grown in labs. It includes that type of stuff. So the aim is to get humanity off fossil fuels by 2040, 20. 50 at the latest if humanity is to survive and the best way to do it is to do it through the third industrial revolution now there are conspiracy theorists and again coming from the white evangelical Christian movement in America and in Europe 
which is saying that it's some type of satanic revolution that people have been subjected to because they want to introduce basic income so think about this if you have autonomous self-driving cars and trucks and buses then you no longer need to employ drivers and think about the number of people who make their living by driving a truck, a bus, a car, a lorry, a tanker. Just think about all those people employed in that sector. So if there's going to be disruption to people's working, working lives, they're going to need some form of income and therefore people have been calling for a basic income and if you want to know how much you're talking depending on which country around about a thousand US dollars per month and then anything else you make on top of that is yours and these evangelical crazies are saying it's the end of the world think about that Now, I'm going to do a lot more on the third industrial revolution, but most of it will be on Patreon. So if you want to get involved in the third industrial revolution and you want to know how we come at it from an African centered point of view, then become a member of Patreon. Just go to Patreon dot com forward slash warrior for power